Why, hello there everyone, I'm the Kumo Sensei, and today we're talking about NFTs. More specifically, this Pokemon NFT, and yes, you read in the title, the official Pokemon company is actually filing a court lawsuit against this NFT Poke World sort of thing, and I'm not too familiar with the story, so without further ado, let's get straight into it, and let's talk about this, because I am not, I am not the biggest fan of NFTs everyone. In my personal opinion, the majority of them are either rug pulls or scams. So, this is an early Christmas gift, knowing that the NFT that is trying to use Pokemon's IP is going to chorus. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, and it's pretty much well deserved, honestly. So everybody, here's the article, and let's get straight into it. Pokemon Company Sues Company Advertising Poke World NFT Game This article is written by Alex Mateo, so there goes credit, or credit is due, and let us continue. Court restrains Australian company from claiming license or affiliation with Pokemon Company. The Pokemon Company International has filed a lawsuit against Pokemon Pty Ltd, an Australian company advertising its unlicensed non-fungible token NFT game PokeWorld under the name Kotiota Studios. The PokeWorld website falsely claims that the Pokemon Company International and Kotiota are making the game for release in January 2023. The Federal Court of Australia ruled on Wednesday to prevent Pokemon Pty Ltd from launching this game or selling any NFTs using the Pokemon Intellectual Property, aka the IP. The court has restrained Pokemon Pty Ltd from using the Pokemon Company's trademarks or images. It is also not allowed to claim licensing or affiliation with the Pokemon Company. The image below is from the PokeWorld website. And oh boy, here we <laughs> This is Pikachu, guys. Yeah, I don't know why, but something looks off. Maybe it's the shoulders here. I, I can't figure out. But that's kind of funny, though. Some random Australian company using the Pokemon IP to make an NFT. That is a recipe for disaster, honestly. <laughs> and uh, this is real, guys. I will show you a little bit of the actual filing, but uh, let us continue. During the first hearing on Wednesday, no representative from Pokemon Pty Ltd was present. What a horrible look for this NFT company, am I right? The Pokemon company added that it and Nintendo have decided not to launch Pokemon NFTs. Thank God. <laughs> the PokeWorld website, which is still up as of press time, incorrectly pluralizes Pokemon as Pokemons. <laughs> it also makes other errors such as Eevee being an electric type referring to potions as poisons. Oh my god, I can't believe this is real. How bad of- oh man, this is so bad. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the latest entries in the Pokemon game franchise, launched on Nintendo Switch Worldwide on November 18th. And the article pretty much ends here. But yeah, PokeWorld NFTs, some random Australian company tried to capitalize off this. But yeah, everyone, I am- <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, everyone, I'm really glad that the Pokemon company is actually stepping up and stopping this, uh, what you call it, Poke World NFT from happening. Because I think that NFTs are pretty much rug pulls and scams almost at this point. Like, pretty much all of them are. And it's pretty interesting too, guys. Eevee being an electric type and referring potions as poisons. I don't know how you can make that big of an error, especially using an IP that pretty much everybody knows from their childhood. So without further ado, guys, let me show you something real quick about this uh, court filing, which I find interesting. So everybody, here is the Commonwealth Courts portal. So this is pretty much the filing here, guys. Federal Court of Australia, New South Wales Registry. Here's the number and whatnot. Filing date was December 19th, 2022. This is pretty interesting though, guys. Look at the title. The Pokemon Company International, INC. So that's pretty much the Pokemon official. Versus Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon, PTY, LTD, and Anor. Pokemon. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that is a typo or if that's the actual name of the company for the, you know, the PokeWorld NFT. But my God, that is an absolute joke. They, if, if it's a typo, please keep it because that, that just gives me some. <laughs> this is literally giggles for me, man. Oh God. But yeah, I'll leave a link to this down below, guys, and so you can go check it out and read what this is about. Do I think Pokemon is suing this NFT? It's not official, from my understanding, but it seems like it's going that route. But hey, without further ado, everyone, I'm the Kumo Sensei, 
I upload every single day. I upload random things daily. And if yeah, you want me to talk about anything, just leave it down below. And if it interests me, I'll talk about it here on the channel. And tell me what you think. And also follow me on my IG and my Twitter to stay updated to what I do there, guys, and uh, see my posts and whatnot. And please stop by whenever on live stream. I live stream anytime between Thursdays through Sundays, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. United States Eastern Time. And with that, that's really about it. See ya.